say something, I'm giving up on you. <laughs> hey guys, the has been here. I hope you guys are doing good. And uh, are safe, obviously, with all the craziness in the world today. Uh, it's pretty crazy. So, three point check, this weapon is clear. I would not be horsed around with a, a live weapon in the house or a live firearm. So, how you guys been anyway? I wanted to get on here. I thought the intro was pretty funny, so I threw that on there. Um, but what I wanted to talk about today was I was out shooting the other day and I actually had this Glock jam on me pretty hard actually. I went to clear it and it still didn't clear. I ended up having to rip the mag out of it, dumping two rounds out of it because the first round went in but the extractor never grabbed it. So what ended up happening was it was actually human error and I ended up loading the mag and never mag checking it. So when I slapped it in it was sitting just far enough ahead that when I went to pick up the next round it never fully picked it up, kicked it out and caused the jam. When I went to rack it back to clear the jam, it picked up another round and slammed it in. So now I have two rounds sitting top to bottom, clogging the barrel. It was a mess. Either or, I just wanted to come on and let you guys know, no matter what you buy for firearms, you always have to be careful of human error. I mean, Glocks are extremely well known for running in the most toughest conditions, just like AK-47s. Uh, AR-15s are, you know, have a pretty good name to them as well, as far as being able to be pretty beaten and still run. And, you know, Glock definitely holds its name up out of hundreds and hundreds of rounds. Out of my Gen 3, I've never had a jam. My Gen 4, I think maybe out of almost 2,000 rounds, I had like two jams, if that. I know definitely one jam. For a fact, I know I had one gem when I was breaking it in, but this Gen 3 is well broken in, and it was definitely human error. So it's just a reminder to be safe while you guys are out there. You know, do your mag checks, and just realize that no matter what you buy that's dependable, there's always room for error. And you know, had that been a life or death situation. I lived through it, my dad through it, who knows, but it definitely would have put a hiccup. And it's always good also to do, yeah, to do that, <laughs> had a brain freeze for a second. It's really good to do um, what they, so you either put an empty casing in or you put a snap cap in, uh, in your magazine while you're shooting. So you. You can work on clearing jams really fast so you can get the hang of that in case your firearm jams in a life or death situation you're able to react quicker and know how to take care of that issue a lot faster than if you've never dealt with it before i don't typically do that i did okay at clearing the jam but i should have just ripped the mag out in the first place but i thought that i could clear the jam out and keep going that was my mistake. Mistake you learn from. Always learn from your mistakes. But anyway, this has been Huntsman32. I just wanted to come on and see how you guys are doing. Drop a video and just kind of, you know, keep you up to date a little bit and uh, go over a few things. So, hope you guys enjoyed the intro. I don't really know what I have planned for you yet. I got something up, but we'll see. Price ammo is going back down again, and it's coming a little more readily available again. So, either way, it's been Huntsman32. It's been great seeing you guys. Take care. Have a great day. I'll see you guys soon.